my question is so many mutual funds 4000 schemes what is your goal now if your goal is i want uh, you know to buy a house and i need money in 3 to 4 years suddenly that rolls out the whole universe of equity fund so of that 4000 scheme can you imagine how many schemes are rolled out okay 3 to 4 years i can probably go with a hybrid fund hmm. and then within hybrid fund there are two three options of different risk and you can pick Welcome to Learn with RG. The idea behind this session was that pull out Radhika from her office yes. and learn from her and her investment journey. Hi, Radhika. Uh, thank you for taking out time. But you have a very busy life, you know. And after becoming mommy, you have these mommy duties. So, what do you do on your weekend? You just like watch, chill, go out. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I have a crazy life. I mean, now before I had my son, like my idea of unwinding was. reading and poetry and all these things now with my son you know we like to spend time at home swim just vegetate this thing sometimes we like like to take him out for a meal or go to a restaurant you know that's one of the nice things i mean food is always good so we like to do that also but radhika do you find it very you know sort of uh, daunting when weekend comes you have to decide on going somewhere you're spoiled for choices mm. so many restaurants so many things and you have to decide how you'll go where should you go what should you do something like your mutual fund industry 4000 schemes and investor has to choose out of that so many companies you know which is good which is bad what to do i mean what do you tell them how do you navigate you know 4000 schemes like too much for me to handle or to choose from yeah and then new restaurants and new funds both keep getting launched you know what i think we make this a lot more complicated than it actually is in because most of us end up going out to eat right choice doesn't mean you stop going out to eat now uh let me ask you if you are choosing a restaurant uh mostly what's the first thing that you think of like what kind of cuisine i want to eat whether i want to have chinese indian south yeah, indian something like cuisine so automatically if there are like thousands of restaurants in bombay that narrows the universe to you know one fourth the size or 10% of the size because you've chosen the cuisine now so now you're going out to eat in bombay so where where are you staying in bombay while you're here andheri okay so now distance is probably going to be important because car traffic is crazy and i'm sure you don't want to travel from andheri towards the other end of the city so distance will be of all the chinese restaurants in mumbai you'll probably choose the ones within the vicinity of andheri i'm assuming so that will narrow down your choice further i don't know maybe you'll have a budget um so you'll you know cut it down further and then you might go and check some online ratings and reviews and all of that uh you might ask a couple of friends for recommendations and believe me i think you will come down to 3 4 5 choices and once you apply these filters you very quickly have a few chinese restaurants to go to actually it's not that hard okay so you made it quite easy but you know when you go and you have the menu in the hand then also there are so many choices again you're spoiled for choices how do i like you know select what i want to eat and which would be the true value for money for me Yeah, no, no. I mean that's a question, and but again, I I think you can break it down because if you go to a restaurant, uh, mostly some of us know. Aaj mujhe I'm not very hungry, so I'm only going to eat a main course. I don't want a starter. Now many people don't eat dessert, so they skip the whole dessert section of the menu. Or you're going with a large group, so then you're like, I want a few starters and I want a few main courses. So you just go to the sections that you want. I also know that these days everybody has these preferences, like. I prefer to avoid fried food if possible. So all the fried items are kind of ruled out now. Some people have this gluten-free thing, X thing, Y thing. Again, once you start narrowing it down, I don't like mushrooms. I'm sure there are things you don't like. So in Chinese food, I don't like mushrooms. So all the mushroom dishes are ruled out. Again, once you start applying a few filters to these things, you'll come down to a few dishes. And in fact, most of us. go to a few set of restaurants priyanka and order the same few things most of the time don't you yeah so just like eliminate what you don't want and you'll have that straight away list a direct list what you want and you know you could just go but how do i apply this to mutual fund because you know my question is so many mutual funds 4000 schemes yeah how do i start 
I think the first thing you should start with is with a mutual fund is what is your, you see you said 4000 schemes, what is your goal? Now, if your goal is I want, uh, you know, to buy a house and I need money in three to four years, suddenly that rules out the whole universe of equity funds. So, of that 4000 scheme, can you imagine how many schemes are ruled out? Because once you decide your goal, you have a sense of time horizon and that just gives you a sense that, okay, three to four years, I can probably go with a hybrid fund. Hmm. And then within hybrid fund, there are two, three options of different risk and you can pick. Now, again, once you've decided that I want to do a hybrid fund, uh, you will have certain AMCs. Now, you will say there are 45 AMCs, but you will have certain AMCs that you get comfortable with, 5, 7 AMCs. So, you will look at those AMCs. Uh, you know, like with food, you look at ratings, reviews, etc. You will look at, hopefully, you will look at long term performance, but you look at some of the schemes that are beating the benchmark, or some basic criteria on performance for the schemes. Again, you will narrow down a few schemes. And then finally, like you ask your friend, you will talk to a financial advisor that among these schemes, which are the right ones. And within that, you will realize that you come down to a very small list of schemes. In fact, I think just like with restaurants where you have, I mean, like I know, we go out for Chinese, we don't really go out for Indian, we go out for Italian, we go out for a few kinds of cuisines. There are four or five categories of funds that I use. And within each of those Chinese restaurants in Mumbai, there are three, four Chinese places I like, two, three Italian places, and within those a few dishes. Again, within those categories of funds, there are few AMCs and schemes that you will select and you will realize you will quickly come down to 8, 10 things even in the fund world. So, it is all about filters, you know. So, goal is your first filter, second is the AMC and third is the you research and study about the AMC and then, uh, you know, long term performance of the schemes that you are going to choose, right? Yeah, it is actually the right word you use is filters, it is just starting this simple process of filtering and this process works whether you are choosing a restaurant, it works when you are buying, like if you are renting a house, the same process works, you know, the same 4 or 5 filters. When you are posting on social media, then also filters are very useful. Ah, then you see, when you are posting on Instagram, <laughs> filters are very useful. So, filters really work in life and they work really well in fun. So, filter your fund. Okay, so let's complicate your life, how you do it, put right filters, understand your investment and this is how you invest, right? Hashtag Don't get confused with 4000 schemes. Yeah, hashtag filter your fund. <laughs> Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.